Hey guys, welcome to Whitney's Watch List. Today I am reviewing 1917. If you don't know what the movie's about, it's a story of two young soldiers who were tasked with an impossible mission to go deep into German territory during World War I and deliver a message to stop another army from attacking because it was a trap. First things first, it was directed by Sam Mendes, starring, I got these names this time, y'all. I got them, but I don't have my glasses on, so. Starring Dean Charles Chapman, who we know as Tom and Baratheon from Game of Thrones, Joffrey's younger brother, and George McKay. These are the two soldiers that this movie follows mostly. Of course, they encounter lots of other soldiers and lots of other generals and colonels along the way, but the movie focuses on these two men. Typically, I wouldn't be interested in a movie like this, but when I saw the preview in theaters a few months ago, I was really interested, not only because it looked really incredibly shot, which it was, but just because it just had so much action in it. I guess there's a lot of war movies that you've seen, but you never really feel like you're in it. And this movie makes you feel like you're in it, which was amazing. It was incredible. I just want to take a second and focus on just how well done this movie was. I mean, they did a great job with you felt like you heard every pebble they stepped on and you felt their heavy breathing and you also felt the silence when they were trying to be quiet. I mean, you really understood the world really quickly. I think the setting was set up really, really well. So well, in fact, that when they first leave the trench, they have to pass these two dead horses and they were decomposing. And it's just kind of like a small thing just to kind of give you an idea of what they were dealing with. And also it was just really gross to see decomposing horses because it's not typically how you see horses in a movie or ever really. So it was just like, that was the realness that they gave to you. This is a spoiler I have to say, but it's not like a huge spoiler. It's like a small spoiler. George McKay's character who is Lance Corporal Sheffield or Sheffield, probably Sheffield, cuts his hand on some barbed wire and they fall into a ditch and to get his balance, he places his open wounded hand into a dead person's chest. And the moment was so disgusting and so terrifying that the entire theater responded with, oh. <laughs> the scene itself was not disgusting, but the thought of having an open wound in a dead man was like terrifyingly scary. I say this is a spoiler because I was sure, I was absolutely sure that by the end of the movie, he was gonna have to get rid of that hand. I could not stop thinking about it. I was like, surely his hand's gonna be infected. He's not gonna make it. It's over for him, forget it. But to find out what happens, you will have to watch. There were so many moments like that where you jumped, you flinched, you reacted. You were really on the edge of your seat for this movie and not in the anxious way that you were with Uncut Gems, in like a really intrigued way, in a rooting for these soldiers kind of way. I think that the costumes were done really, really well in this movie. Not just because they looked good and that they were historically accurate and all that, the production team did a really good job of making use of their costumes and seeing the different ways that these soldiers would have used their equipment at this time, just using their hat to not only to protect their head, but to eat out of and to, you know, put water in, to drink out of and, you know, having mad pockets, pockets for like everything. First of all, they probably couldn't run that fast because they were weighed down with like 20 pounds of stuff. Just seeing that incorporated was a really cool aspect to really further allow you to understand the world, understand 1917 that they were in, and what Europe was like at that time. I think what stands out about this movie is definitely the editing. It was just so amazing. I mean, I have no idea how visual effects and all that stuff works. I had never studied that, so I'm not an expert at all. But for them to make this look as one continuous shot, which is, you know, the jewel of the movie. I was just literally in awe. I was like, how did they do it? You could tell at certain points that they made the editing, like it would follow the character, maybe land on a tree for a minute and then change the vantage point. So you're like, okay, maybe they made the edit there. But even still, how, how? 
So I really hope that if nothing else, they get an Oscar nomination for cinematography. I think they'll probably have a lot of nominations, but if anything, that should be the one that they get for sure. I have one small little annoyance with the movie. There's this one scene with this young French woman that he encounters who's hiding with a baby. And there's like this like five to 10 minute scene that happens there. And it felt like it just slowed down the entire movie. And like, I was anxious. I was like, okay, he needs to go. He can't be messing with her. He's gonna get caught. Now he's gonna be dealing with this girl. He need to get out of there. I felt like it was just misplaced a little bit. It was purposeful, obviously. I think that it was done just to break up a lot of the war zone that we were seeing. And also maybe for equality so that it could have at least one female in this movie. But I feel like I could have done without that scene. I feel like I would have been equally satisfied if he had a moment to rest by himself. This was his kind of like rest moment to kind of check in before the long haul. But I just, I just don't know how much I loved it. Tell me if you liked that scene or if you thought it was good or necessary or whatever. But I feel like I could have done without it. So guys... There isn't really much to this movie, honestly, besides the fact that there's these two young soldiers on a mission, a deadly one, an exciting one, an adventurous one, and you're on the journey with them. I just really liked how the movie started out as kind of an annoying mission, and then it ended up turning into a soldier wanting to honor another soldier. And that was really beautiful to watch. What I like most about this movie is that you actually achieve a level of catharsis. I like how it ended. You know, I think with all the movies I've been seeing with Queen and Slim and Uncut Gems, these characters have such an, un an unfortunate ending and you kind of just leave the theater like, what the fuck? But with this movie, it's not like the characters ride off into the sunset and all is well, because again, it's still World War I. It didn't end with rainbows and sunshine. But you do still feel like, mm, okay, I'm good with that. No, it wasn't pretty, but shit, we did it. I should mention that um, the other dude from Game of Thrones is in this movie. I don't know why I bring that up. Richard Madden, who of course is the young wolf from Game of Thrones. He plays homeboy's older brother in the movie. So it was like kind of cute seeing two Game of Thrones characters in this movie, but I mean, he didn't have a huge role, but he was just in it. He made a little cameo. Guys, I don't have anything else to say about this movie. It was really great. I would say even if you don't typically like war movies, you're probably gonna like this one. It was just really adventurous and exciting with a good ending and it visually looked amazing. So definitely check it out. This is a must see in my opinion, and we'll see how it does with the award season. So uh, check it out. Check out this video, that video, or go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, bye.